Look who's back! Again! In the rain! Again! Honestly, whoo! <laughs> Nearly fell over. Starting to think I'm a bit jinxed with this old weather lark. So I've come out today to the woods. The plan was originally to do a camp. I'm sulking a bit because I'm not going to. Um, yeah, the weather tomorrow is meant to be really rough. And actually, do I want to spend another two days in the rain and then have wet tents and wet camping gear everywhere all over Christmas? Not so much. So I've just come out because I bought myself a steak and God damn it, I want my steak. So, <laughs> so I've come, I've just come for, um, yeah, just a bit of a chilled afternoon, really. Whoa, honest, I am actually going to end up on my butt in a minute. It's really, really wet and muddy. The river on the way in whoo, through one of the little villages was literally to the top and like had overflowed in places or otherwise known as flooded. <laughs> but, <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit of an eventful drive in and my goodness, there's the ground wet here. So, but oh my God, is it good to be back? So good to be back. If I shut up talking, you can hear how quiet it is. It's heaven. Apart from the chainsaw in the background. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear it, but hey, I'm here. It's fab. I'm gonna get to camp, get some wood, and get the bush box going so I can have a nice coffee and cook my steak. So I hope you enjoy being out with me. realized never shown you our little pond area in the woods so I'm just gonna bring you up and show you obviously the grass is all a little overgrown but yeah so we put this pond in I, <laughs> I say the royal we my dad and my mum and up there, there's a little flat area that we've put in for camping because this is a lovely little clear area here. So hopefully one day when that's all kind of fully established itself, we'll be able to camp there, which would be lovely like overlooking the water. Maybe not in the summer with all the flies and stuff. Goodness, there's a lot of standing water here. Probably all getting to know this walk into camp now. Oh, that tree wasn't down before. I literally feel like I'm coming home when I come here. I quite happily live here, to be fair. That was allowed. Here we go. Home away from home. God, it's good to be back. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> I've thought about 10 different things that I want to say, but actually I just want to say, I hope you're all okay. Things are crap. We'll get there. We will get there. Um, it's just really nice to be able to come out today um, and just get some fresh air and get back to nature for a little while. While we can, um, we are obviously incredibly fortunate down in Cornwall and I know a lot of you guys are in a way way worse position than we are a lot of family included in that um, so yeah just know I'm thinking of you all things are really really rubbish but we will get there we will 
Right, enough of my gabbling. Let's go and get some wood and get this fire going. going all out on the birch bark today because we have a plentiful supply of it at home and I can't be bothered with faffing around. Everything's wet obviously. I've just gone around, collected some just dead dead standing wood and bits from under the holly lock I've showed you in other videos. Eau de parfum. <laughs> Smell of nature. <coughs> My husband thinks I'm mad because I don't like going in the shop on the way home to buy milk. It's because I go home reeking. It's probably getting boring watching me use birch bark, but it's just so easy, isn't it? And I think I've said before, excuse me, sniffing, not really ladylike. I've said before, I think it's about an hour and a half to get here. And I was all in two minds this morning, so dithering what I was going to do. And then of course I packed my rucksack to camp and then I had to unpack it all again to repack it all. And so it was gone 12 by the time I got here and of course, it's gonna be darker like, well, daylight today, probably about half three. So uh, I just wanna get on, really. And who cares how you do it, eh? As long as you're doing it. See me. <laughs> oh dear. I think it is a trap. 
attracted to my body warmth, which is why it's coming this way, because actually, just no wind whatsoever. And I commented on someone else's YouTube video the other day about smoke in the eyes. If you wear glasses, get yourself some contact lenses, because they're amazing. Because it doesn't hurt your eyes. Probably not terribly good for your contact lenses, mind. But hey, good for my eyeballs. So I'm especially sulking today, big lip, because. I had all sorts planned for my winter Christmas camp for you guys. Mold wine! I had mold wine and I was going to put cinnamon in it and all sorts. Nah, obviously can't have it because I've got to drive home. Gutted. But one thing I'm trying today for the first time is an Azira coffee bag. No clue. Might be horrible. But I'm also very excited. That's what I'm drinking it out of. Can you see? Uh. Amazing, amazing secret Santa present from someone at work. I work with some incredible people. Hello everyone. Amazing people and yeah, this just goes to show how well they know me. And yeah, I love it. Stop talking before I start crying or something. It's been a very emotional today. It's been a big year, isn't it? I think the thing to remember though guys, I was thinking about this driving here, is even when it's really, really, really bad, there are still positives. There are things you can still take from this year that are positives, even if they're really little. <laughs> but just, yeah, got to try and look for the positives in life. This year's been a big year for me and my family everyone's family or who am I kidding but yeah there's always positives to be found though and that's one of the key things I've learned this year really god I talk a lot Boils so quick, it always surprises me, it kind of catches me unawares really. Bits of woodland in my coffee, it's nice. Special! Special coffee. Take the opportunity to stick some bigger bits in for a minute. I just had to go and collect a little bit more wood. I never quite call it how much you need. Well, I can't. I know it depends what you're doing, but. Get it going up a bit more and then. Ready for mistake. The other thing I want to do today while I'm here, she says, flapping around with her hair, um, is last time I came to the woods, um, I did do some filming, but it wasn't really enough to do um, a video for YouTube, and we had family here, so I was all a bit distracted. So 
I collected some punkwood last time I was here and if I can I will show you a little clip of that I'm still learning all the editing techniques um, but so and I started to char it um, on the bush box but we kind of ran out of time and daylight and it didn't quite finish almost so when I've finished cooking my steak I'm gonna stick this back on the fire to kind of finish um, and then what I'm planning to do, not today, but I am planning to try and learn how to use flint and steel because then you can use this to catch the sparks to start a fire using like a bird's nest. So um, yes, that's the plan. So I'm going to stick this on the fire in a minute when my steak's finished cooking. Hopefully I can actually finally finish my childhood. Thank you Secret Santa. Mwah. Whoever you are, I love you loads. It's amazing. One person on Instagram said, oh, merch. Hmm, now there's an idea for the future maybe, maybe a little soon, but one day. Love it, thank you so much, whoever you are. <coughs> so getting smoked out. Contact lenses may help your eyes, it does not help anything else. I'm not going to uh, put you through the torture of watching me eat because no need for it is there. But, Yum. So my um, charwood is back on fire again. Let me show you. So, I don't know if you can see actually. So, there's a little hole in the middle of the tin. You can see there's still smoke coming out. So you know the wood has finished charring when that smoke stops. So, yeah. Like I said, we just kind of ran out of time last time. But hopefully this time I can get it finished and then show you what it looks like. Right, I think the smoke has actually stopped coming out of the hole. So I'm going to carefully no, take the tin off, put the kettle back on so I can have another coffee. And then just sit and chill for a bit. It's so typical there's someone using a flipping chainsaw across the valley. But not going to ruin my peace and quiet that's for sure such a messy cook <laughs> my husband would completely agree with ye with, with ye with ye with me <laughs> actually speak right i'm just going to carefully lift this up and put it down here because surprisingly it's quite hot love my gloves. I bought them off Amazon after a lot of ifing and amming and amming and ahhing and looking at different ones and reviews and whatever and I was very, I kind of I knew what I wanted. It took me quite a while to find them but they're flipping awesome. When I remember to wear them both. bad you know I'd buy them again it's not my usual brand of coffee but no it's good it was nice I don't know you've probably seen me using my little neck knife quite a few times nice little leather pouch and it's um designed after the one that the caveman used that was found unearthed and is skeleton had all still bits of his basically bushcraft kit with him and uh, yeah Otzi, Otzi, not sure quite how you say it, yeah amazing neck knife though, purchased by his husband, acquired by me, <laughs> I tend to uh, procure a lot of his stuff, <laughs> some willingly, some not so willingly, 
on his behalf, I mean. Right, I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up around camp. So messy. So messy. Okay, so I have let this cool, my box of hopefully fully charred wood. So I thought we should open it. It's like a little Christmas present and see, she says, if she can. Yay! So it has all now look, turned completely to charred wood. So it's basically like charcoal. So what I can do now, not now, now, now in the fullness of time, is start to practice my flint and steel technique. So I've got, yeah, I have got both um, and I've had very brief try with it at home. Um, not an awful lot of success but now I've got my charwood I can definitely give it a go Ooh, the weather really has turned minging and when am I ever gonna learn not to straighten my hair before coming out into the woods but yeah so I think that's kind of me done really to be fair um, the as I say the weather really is turning now um, I've had my steak I've had my coffee um, I've done my little funny Christmas video if you want to go and have a look at that um, so yeah I'm just gonna pack up here and head back to the car really um, yeah it really has turned quite grim um, but thank you ever so much for watching um, thank you for all of your support I cannot believe how much support I've had considering I've only been um, doing this channel for a few months um, I love it I don't know how many times I can say that I absolutely love it I feel like I've just found my true passion in life so I really hope that you enjoy watching you continue to support me if you know anyone that you think might be interested in watching my video please share it um, and yeah just want to get as many people on board as possible just because I love sharing my time with you I love sharing my experiences with you um, and it's you guys you guys make me get out there to do stuff um, otherwise I'd be just sat on my bum at home not doing anything um, so for you I make the effort to go out and to share this with you so thank you thank you thank you have a really good Christmas guys take care stay safe and I will see you probably now in the new year so see you soon bye